shield and everything. You know, I'm just supporting him so well. Boom! Look at this combo. Oh my god. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video. And in today's video, we will be looking at the new champion, Rakan. I'll explain you everything you need to know about the champion. I'll explain to you what to build. I'll explain to you how to use the abilities. I'll explain to you how to combo the abilities, how to outplay your enemy with, with your abilities. I'll even show you gameplay where I do all these things in a game. Like I did a game where I did all the good combos and I really, really outplayed the enemy. I gotta say, guys, Rakan is incredibly hard to play. So before you start watching this video, I just quickly want to warn you that this is not for beginners. This is, this is actually a very intermediate it's very difficult champion and there is a lot of outplay potential and i'm gonna explain to you everything but you might not understand everything so i suggest you to just rewind the video when i show you the uh, what the abilities do so firstly let's talk about the build um okay so about the rock uh rock on build there is basically three core items which is locket protector's vow and zeke's convergence you can either start with a locket or you can start with a protector's vow see you just have to prior you have to think yourself do i want the big locket shield or do i want the protector's vow passive which um, gives you and your ally a shield when you go close to them so it fits really well with rakan's third ability so you really have to think about think of yourself hmm, do i want a locket or do i want protector's vow first i honestly think protector's vow first is going to be better in most cases but it also depends on your playstyle. so about these boots which tier 2 boots should you get? So there's three boots that you want to look at with Rakan, which is first, Ionian boots, second, Ninja Tabai, third, Mercury Threads. If the enemy has a lot of stuns, a lot of slows, things like that, get Mer Mercury Threads. Even, and also if they have a lot of ability power, get Mercury Threads. If the enemy is full AD, which means full attack damage, get Ninja Tabai. And if you just really want to have low cooldown, get Ionian Boots. That's how you basically decide how to get them. Okay, so you have your first two items, okay? After that, Zeke's Convergence. This is just really, really nice. This um, uh, this really works well with the Protector's Vow because it also gives buffs to your allies and stuff like that. So this is just very nice with your third ability as well. So when you have these three first items, these are the core items of Rakan. It's really situational what to build. Like the last three items, let me just quickly show you. Uh, show you examples wait my camera my camera one sec let me fix my camera real quick this is a little awkward so let's just quickly fix this camera and there it is we're back so yeah about the build uh, for example adaptive helm when is adaptive helm good against champions that deal continuous ability power damage with the same ability think about think of akali think of cannon Think of uh, Mundo, maybe, if he's dealing insane damage. You know, these champions that deal uh, that deal consecutive damage with abilities. Adaptive Helm is going to be really good then. Randuin's Omen is also a really good late game item against a lot of critical damage. So if the enemy has a Yasuo that is full crit and has a Jinx that is full crit, get Randuin's Omen. This item is going to be golden for you. Um, it's like... It's just really situational here. Really, 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 really situational what you should build. There is actually another item that you can build, which is Ardent Sensor. Now, this is a very, very interesting item because um, when you use your third ability, it's a shield. It will shield an ally. So, if you, for example, have a Jinx that is playing really well, you can also get an Ardent Sensor. And with this Ardent Sensor, you're going to buff Jinx attack speed and she's going to do bonus damage. And you can do it two times in a row because your, sec uh, your third ability has two charges. We'll talk about that later. So Ardent get Ardent Sensor if you, have, um, if you have a really, really good ADC player in your team. You can even get Harmonic Echo if you need the heal. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's very situational what you should build on Rakan. Let me just quickly tell you again. Uh, you get... Adaptive Helm, if the enemy has a lot of continuous magic damage. You get Randuin's Omen against a lot of critical damage. Uh, where are the other items? Uh, you get Ardent Sensor if your ADC is doing incredibly well. And you get, where's the other one? Harmonic Echo if you really, really want to have the heal. Now here I have Abyssal Mask, which says restore mana equal to 15% of the damage taken and restore health. So this one, if you have a little mana pr uh, problems and things like that, you can also get this one. It's it's just really hard to decide what to build. But try to think of the uh, try to think the way that I'm thinking of what you should build. Enemy has a lot of crit, random is omen. Enemy has a lot of uh, continuous uh, magic damage. Get adaptive helm. Your AD carry is doing good. Get ardent sensor. You need the bonus heal. Get harmonic echo. So enough about the build. Let's go on to the runes. So I really like to run aftershock. This is just very nice because after you go in. Because as it says, after immobilizing an enemy, your second ability immobilizes an enemy. You gain defense and deal a burst of damage around you. 
This fits really well with an aggressive playstyle on Rakan. Every time you dive in with your second ability, you're gonna do bonus damage with this and you're gonna tank more. So I would say 100% of the times, go for this one. There's actually another rune that is also decent on Rakan, which is Font of Life. I don't like it, but this one really provides a lot of sustain. So as it says, impairing the movement of an enemy, so when you use your second ability, allies who attacked marked champions heal based on your max health. Heals equal to 3% of your health. So, uh, let's say you hit an enemy and your ally hits that enemy. Your ally will regenerate health equal to 3% of your max health. Now, this is really good in team fights because if you manage to hit like 3 enemies, then your ally can heal by an insane amount. But still, I prefer Aftershock just because it provides you with bonus defense when you go in. It's really important that you can tank up damage after going in with Rakan. Okay, that's the first one. So, the second rune, Weakness. Weakness, weakness, weakness. Nothing else, okay? When you use your second ability you, uh, and knock up an enemy, they will take 5% more damage in the following 5 seconds. For sure you get this one. After that, lo loyalty. And this is because uh, your third ability will bring you close to your allies all the time. So loyalty is going to be amazing. Just get loyalty. Trust me, this is the best. And as the last one, I get Hunter Genius. Ability Haste is really nice because it, it grants you ability cooldown. And having the ultimate on a lower cooldown is very, very nice. So this is the room page that you want to be running. And about the spells, I personally like Exhaust. You know, when I go in, I'll exhaust the enemy ADC. But you can also go for, uh, for heal. This is if you want to play a little more defensive or even ignite if you want to be like ultra aggressive if you're playing with a draven or something you could even go for ignite so that is it for the build let's go to i'm gonna show you the abilities and all the combos right now okay so now we're gonna to get to the little more complicated part i'm gonna be explaining to you what the abilities do and how to combo the abilities so let's get into it the passive is simple the passive is very simple it's basically like the mountain dragon it gives you a, a shield with bonus health. It, it depends on how much ability power you have. As you can see, uh, the white thing in my health bar is the bonus shield. So let me just quickly show you if it goes away what happens. There. So when a turret hits you or something, it goes off your shield first. And then it, go it, it hits you. And there is another thing to it. Um, whenever you attack... Whenever you attack an enemy with your basic attacks or an ability, the cooldown reduces by one second. So every 17 seconds, you get a new shield. But if you attack enemies, I attack that thing, but that doesn't count. If you attack an enemy with your abilities, here, I got it back already. See that? Um, so yeah, this ability, I want to tell you quickly how you can use this ability. This ability is really good in lane because uh, le you should take fights when you have the barrier up. And when you don't have the barrier anymore, you can go back. And then you can use the bonus of the barrier again to go in. It's going to grant you like a, a little advantage towards the enemy because you'll literally have a bonus shield. So you'll be able to take free damage. Okay, let's get on to the first ability. This ability is very easy to understand. And uh, actually, I need to quickly show you something uh, about the first ability because there is a bug in the game. So in the game, it says when you level up the ability, you get uh, lower cooldown and... Uh, higher base damage, but they actually forgot to put something in there and let me just quickly show you what they forgot I think it's pretty stupid. So, okay, look I want you to see how much range it has boom. I want you to see how much range it has now It is more as you can see boom and let's see now It is more see that and it's even more here And I want you to pay attention I want you to rewind the video and pay attention to the difference between level 1 and level 2 because the difference in range between level 1 and level 2 is massive. After that, it's only a little bit. Um, I'll talk to you later about which abilities you should upgrade first, by the way. This ability, if you hit an enemy, you will heal up after 3 seconds. Or you will heal up when you get close to an ally. So when I shoot him, 1, 2, 3, boom, I get a heal. Also, when I shoot an enemy and I go to an ally, we both get a heal. And this works even if you're around 4 allies. So you can heal your entire team with it. Let me tell you when this ability is good. So it's really good in the lane for poking. You can hit it on an enemy, go back to your ally, um, and heal your ally. Easy heal. Another way it's really good is when you're taking Baron, and when you hit the Baron or Dragon, it also heals your allies. So um, even if your team is like half life, half HP, you can tell them, go Baron, guys, go Baron, because you can heal them up by shooting the Baron. This ability can be really strong, guys. Okay, this can be a really good ability. So let's talk about the second ability. Also, this ability is not that hard to understand. You dash to a location and you knock them up. It's like Malphite's ult. Look, boom. It's almost exactly like Malphite's ultimate. But there is a slight delay to it. Like, as you can see, 
just a slight little delay. And um, this is really good this ability because every time you have the knock up, it's a very a very strong ability. I'll show you how to combo it, by the way, in a second. Your third ability uh, allows you to dash to an ally, boom, and you will give your ally a shield. Okay, you give your ally a shield that absorbs damage, and you can you have two charges. This is one, and then it turns green. This is two, and then it gets on cooldown. Let me just quickly show you. This is how it normally looks. Boom. Boom, seven second cooldown. But you get two shields. And you can actually use it on the same ally too. Let me quickly show you how you should do that. So you use it on an ally. And let's say your ally is going in and he doesn't take damage. You can use it again. But you have to wait for three seconds because uh, you'll, want, you'll want your first shield to go away first before you use the second one. Otherwise, it's kind of wasted. Okay, let's turn on zero cooldown again. So um, your ultimate ability, this is a very interesting one. Gains 50% movement speed. Okay, and touching an enemy, if you touch an enemy, you will charm them like Ari, you know, like Ari's third ability, which is a charm. So they will walk towards you. And if you hit one enemy, you will gain a lot of movement speed. Let me quickly show you how it looks like. So use your ultimate. You get bonus movement speed. When I hit the first enemy, boom, look at how fast I am. And I can hit more. Wait, I was a little late there. So let me just show it to you quickly. Boom, 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 boom. They're walking after me. You see that? I'm like a cute little girl when I do that. And they all they all go after me like, oh, look at this. Look at how cute. You see that? They're all, they're all going after me. This ability is so strong, okay? And I, I really want to stress how important it is after you use the ability to go towards your team, okay? Because you don't want to waste your ability like this. Let's say you go into the enemy like this, and then you go here. If you're, if you can literally bring all of them to your team, like you can do this, you can just go here. Look at this. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. So, um, let me quickly show you how you can combo all your abilities. Let me just add some enemy dummies here. Okay, I'm going to show you. There are so many combos with this champion. First of all, your third ability is makes you very mobile. So, let's say you want to hit the enemies here. But you are coming from here. What can you do? You can do this. Just look. Boom, boom, and boom. You see that? That is so beautiful. You, with this champion, you are so incredibly mobile. You can join a fight whenever you want. Like, you go boom, boom, and boom. And there is another thing that I want to show you. If you just want to go in, look. Like, let's say you're here. You go, you do this, you go in, and you go out really fast. So you get a free knock-up, and you don't take much damage. You can literally dive like five enemies, and they're not going to be able to kill you. Because as I said, you can just go here, quick, and go out. This is... How good is this? Okay, tell me how good this is. This is so good. So another thing that you need to know is um, if your ally, let me just quickly show you. If you have an ally that is in the middle of an enemy, uh, where do I do this? Ally dummy. Uh, the way that you can use your ultimate is like this. So instead of walking all the way in, you can proc your ultimate and then dash through your ally. Let me quickly show it to you. Boom, boom. Oh, now, okay, now it's gonna get a little more interesting. See, these are all the amazing combos that you can do with uh, Rakan. Look at this. Use your ult, you go in. All of them are charmed. All of them are charmed. This is so good if you time it well. Like, I'm just gonna show you here. You go here, you ult, and oh, I actually kind of messed it up. Wait, let me just, you should ult beforehand because it takes a little time to charge. So you ult, you go in, and you go in. And you charm all of them. It is so good. Another thing that I want to tell you is you can also combo your ultimate with your second ability. Like this. Boom. Boom. When you do that, it will be a guaranteed hit. You know why? Because they'll, they will all get charmed towards you. Like you do this and you shoot it here. I actually missed. What? Wait. Let me just... <laughs> here. You do it like this. They get charmed to you and then they come to you. Your second ability has a little longer range than your charm, so you need to be, li need to be a little careful with that. But as I said, like, you don't have to worry about them dodging it. You can just go in like this. And I, quick I quickly want to test out something. Wait, let me check. So if I ult and if I dive behind them, even that works. You see that? Even this works. You can just use the ult and then dive behind them and call them here. This is good if you want to be... Um, if you want to... Make all your enemies walk towards one place. Like here, you want to make them walk back. You can also do this. And I don't recommend you to do this combo. The best combo to do is just to use your ultimate and this. It's just really good CC. 
And there are more combos, but these are pretty much, this is pretty much what you need to know. Um, I want to stress to you how important it is to use your third ability well, by uh, like the mobility of it, you know, by dashing towards you, to, to your allies like this and then going into a fight. This is so important because you can just, you can surprise the enemy so well with it. And this is, I love this combo too, when you go here and then ult, uh, not ult your second ability and go out. Another thing to note, when you use your shield, you will dash behind your ally. Behind. So, um, when I dash here, I'm going to be behind my ally. It's also important to know because you kind of need to be a little careful with it. Like, let's say uh, an enemy is over there. You don't. Sometimes you don't want to get too close. And then you should refrain from using this ability. Okay? So, this is pretty much it. Now, let's go on to the gameplay. <laughs> Alright, guys. On to the gameplay. So, this is not live gameplay. This is me analyzing the gameplay. And the reason that I'm not doing live gameplay is because, oh my god, this champion is so hard to play. So, I, I tried to commentate while playing. I just couldn't do it. And um, this game is beautiful. Oh, this game is so good. You guys have to watch this game because uh, I played like 20 games and this was the best one. Because in this game, I used the combos so well. Oh, you... You guys are gonna love this game. You guys are gonna love it. By the way, it's really insane how fast the channel is growing and how much support you guys are giving me. Because yesterday I made a Zaya video and I said if that video reaches reaches 250 likes, I'll make a rock on video. The video has over 1,000 likes. What? I have never had 1,000 likes on one video. This is insane. So. If you guys are really enjoying the content, make sure you give this video a like too. It really helps the channel a lot and it makes me feel so good if I see that people are enjoying the videos. And um, I'm also running a giveaway this week. <clears throat> All you gotta do is put a comment on, uh, put a comment, and you'll enter the giveaway. I'll pick a random winner in like a few days. Okay, so just put down a comment in the comment How section, you like and you'll enter the giveaway. So enough of that. Let's talk about the game here. Okay, um, what abilities should you upgrade? This is a hard question. You can upgrade any ability. You can upgrade any ability. And you might say, what? What do you mean you can upgrade any ability first? Like Let me explain. Your first ability, you'll want to upgrade your first ability if you really need the heal and the poke. Okay? So, your first ability is good in rougher matchups in lane. Like, if, you have, if you're against a really rough matchup, you'll want to upgrade your first ability. Like, Dra when you're against Draven, for example. You'll want to upgrade your first ability and try to get those hits in and then heal your ally with it. Okay? Your second ability, you can, you can... Oh, did you see that combo, by the way? Let me just... If you didn't watch... Wait, let me just go back again. This is so important for you to see. This is what I was talking about. You can easily get amazing combos off. Okay, I'm gonna show you the combo first, then I'll continue talking about the skills. So, here I'm positioning myself just behind. I don't want to get free damage. And when I want to go in here, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Boom and boom. Oh, that is so beautiful. And we just win this fight because of that. This, you have to rewatch this very uh, a lot because this is the main thing that you need to do on Rakan. You can be so unexpected uh, for the enemy, like you can just dive in and they won't know. So here you can see I hit the enemy with my first ability and I heal my ally. Well, I healed myself, but that's basically how it works. You can poke your enemy with it and then you can heal your ally by walking towards your ally. Okay, so when do you upgrade your second ability? And here I do it again, by the way. Look at this. I do it again. Um... Uh, when do you upgrade your second ability? You upgrade your second ability if you want to be super aggressive in the early game. When you upgrade your second ability, the cooldown is going to get lower and you're going to do more damage, okay? So you only want to do that if you really, really think that you can utilize it well. When you're playing with a Draven or just want to dive early game, like dive really hard early game, then you upgrade your second ability. Um, your third ability... I'm gonna tell you I when you wanna like upgrade your third ability first. You'll want to upgrade your third ability first if you're playing with Zaya. Only with Zaya. Because Zaya takes. Uh, when you play with Zaya, your third ability is gonna give double shield. Literally double the shield than it normally gives. So when you're playing with a Zaya, you'll always want to upgrade your third ability first. Just because of how much shield it provides. And right now, I am playing with Zaya. So I'm upgrading my third ability first, as you can see. So let me just quickly talk, tell it again. First ability if you need the heal and the poke. Second ability if you want to be super aggressive. Third ability if you're playing with Zaya. Okay? Look, I do it again here. This engage is the main thing about the game. And in the late game, I show you even more combos. So that's why I'm super excited. And what I do here is I use my I use my ultimate. This was kind of... I, I kind of wanted to try something new. Which was using my ultimate 
What happened? My screen just froze. Ooh, my uh, laptop crashed, so I have to do this again. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so in the late game, I show you even more amazing combos. So here I also do an amazing combo. I want you to look at this. I use my ultimate, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flash in. Now, this is a little questionable. Whether or not you want to ult and flash in. Because it's true that you can easily hit it then. By the way, we got the, we got the very nice kill here. But I don't know if I recommend you to do it. It can be good to flash in with your ultimate. Um, but in this scenario, it was not the best play that I did. But I, I just wanted to give it a try. Um, so here I'm going to help my team. You always want to rotate because you can easily help your team. Like, look at this. Boom, I give him a shield and he survives because of my shield. Does he actually? Yeah, he killed, the, he killed the guy. So that was a very nice play by me. Rotate, always look at your map. You know, always look at your map. Don't just play bot lane when you're playing support. You want to rotate as well. Um, oh. I, like, what I'm doing here is I kind of wanted to help him, but then I didn't because he was just dead. And I'm almost dead too. So here the enemies are trying to do dragon, which is perhaps questionable. Um, I'm going to be rotating over there. I'm just going to go back because I'm super low. And uh, in this game... I'm gonna get Protector's Vow first, not lock it, because I really feel like it's gonna be incredibly well, because I, I upgraded my shield first. I'm gonna fully upgrade my shield first, so I'm gonna be next to my teammates quite often. And wait, let's just look at this fight. Boom. I use my ultimate, I hit all of them. This was a pretty good engage for me, but unfortunately my team was just super low. So what are we gonna do here? Yeah, it was a pretty good engage by me. I, I, I went in pretty well. But we just didn't really do much with it. So what I'm doing here is I want to find and engage again. Sometimes it's a little hard to hit your second ability, by the way. As you can see. And that's because of the delay. So when you use your second ability, it's like um, you'll have to predict your enemies a little bit. It's not like Malphite ult. Because Malphite ult is like boom, instant. Uh, this one is, you know, you dash towards a place and you w you have to wait for like half a second. Okay, look at this. Look, 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 look. Every time I use my first ability on the dragon, my whole team is gonna heal. So, I mean, just look, look. Boom, they're all gonna heal. Everyone that's around me heals and the Z just kills me, which is not a good idea by the Z because my team can now fight them. But uh, uh, the healing is really good when you're taking dragon and especially Baron. Because Baron is going to do a lot of damage to your team. And you can just heal them back up. Especially in the late game. Your heal is going to be incredibly strong. Um, let's see. So now I fully upgraded my shield. Which is going to be incredibly strong with the Zaya. Like me and the Zaya duo is going to be super strong. Super, super strong. I'm just pinging here that I'm coming. He's actually doing quite well. We're doing really well in this lane. It's just that the rest of the team is not really doing too well. By the way, in this game, I also get like 25 assists or something. So, it's actually insane. I participate in almost every kill in the game. Because I keep rotating all the time and I keep getting the kills. So, I'm. you should really watch this video if you main support. Because I'm sure this is going to help. Like right here, I'm just rotating to mid lane. See, I'm looking for something. And I'm going to shoot my teammates here just to save their asses. We can't really do much here, honestly. So, we just go back. And as you can see, it's actually really hard for me to hit my first ability because I haven't upgraded it. Um, see, maybe it would have been a good idea for me uh, to upgrade my, my first ability one time and then upgrade my other abilities. Because when you upgrade your first ability one time, this is a very nice engage by the way. When you upgrade your first ability one time, it's going to get way more range. It's like significantly more range. So I'm, I'm ulting here, but they use heal, which kind of sucks, but we still got the kills. The ult is also a very strong ability for Rakan. It's really, really good. Uh, yeah, here we just, here we just push a turret. So, uh, a thing to know about Rakan is Rakan takes turrets really slowly. And Rakan also takes Dragon and Baron really slowly. You so, you really need that? someone else with you to deal the damage. He really, really doesn't do any damage on turrets. Like, nothing. Almost nothing. <clears throat> oh, look at this. Here, we can backport together. Look at this. Hmm? <laughs> And that's just with Zaya and Rakan. When you're playing Zaya and Rakan in one team, you can join each other's teleport, which can be good sometimes, you know? So here, I'm just gonna help my team. I'm rotating to my team. I'm not going to bot lane. I'm rotating to my team. Super important to rotate, guys. Very respect of a nice kill there, by the way. You know what, what we have is greater than Okay, that, what else is there to say about this champion? I, I, I've talked so much in the first 10 minutes of the game already. It's actually insane. And that's because there was so much to this champion. 
There is so so much to this champion, guys. You don't even know. Like, I I played like 20 games with this champion, and I played so badly in the beginning, but then I I, I got okay at him. So here I'm ulting. We go, I got both of them, but I'm just pulling the Z back. Oh, that's a, I forgot this combo. When you ult the enemy, you can hit your second ability for free. So when they're charmed, you can actually uh, immediately shoot your uh, second ability on them because they'll be charmed. You hit it for free. I actually forgot to talk about that combo, but that's that's the combo that I just did. I used my ultimate and then I used my second ability, which was really nice. That was a really good combo too. Like as I said, there's so many things that you can do with this champion. It's insane, and the outplay potential is so huge. And trust me, if you get good at Rakan. Oh my god, you're gonna do you're gonna do so well on him. Here you get some nice skill. That was really beautiful play pass. So he's going on me again. And what I do here, which is a very nice trick that I like when I'm playing against the Z. So when you're playing against the Z, if he ults you, you can flash over the wall right after his ultimate. And if you do that, he's gonna have a really hard time to finish you off because he either has to flash himself or throw a shadow over the wall. So that's a quick little trick on how to avoid damage from Z ultimate. You can just dash over a wall, okay? You know, it's just a quick little trick. The dragon has spawned. So here dragon spawns. We should do dragon here. Like we should rotate dragon. Not not even all of us. Like Evelyn should start dragon here and then uh, I could just help her out. Let's see if she actually does it. Engage. Yeah, I'm pinging go dragon and he, yeah, he is going for it. Nice, okay. So th th this is good play that we're doing right here. Evelyn starting dragon, which is literally, it should be a free dragon. I'm not even helping her because I'm just pushing mid because Evelyn can just take it herself. Maybe I should have helped her actually now that I'm looking back to this gameplay. I should have probably helped her. What am I thinking here? I can't really remember what I was thinking here. Oh, I wanted to do like a gank or something. So I wanted to stay with him. I hit him and I'm go I go next to my teammate to heal him up. Give him a shield and everything. You know, I'm just supporting him so well. Boom! Look at this combo. Oh my god. This is what you can do with Rakan. This is what you can do with Rakan, guys. Oh, baby. That was so good. I charmed. I used my second ability to knock them all up. And then I charmed them all. That was so beautiful. Game changing, game changing abilities if you're good with Rakan. And I hate how the Z has been focusing me only. Like this guy already has two kills on me. Like, why are you focusing me, bro? There are my teammates over there that are actually carrying the game. He chooses to focus me. Okay, um, I quickly want to show you. I hope that we're gonna do Baron. I really want to show you how powerful your first ability is when you do Baron. So, that, uh, yeah, here, here we can see it. So my team is doing Baron, and my third ability is on level 3. So here, 100 heal. Did you see that? Every time I hit it, I get 100 heal across my entire team. So here I do it again, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I tried to jump over the wall, but it didn't work. Like, don't forget to use your second ability. Oh, they actually stole it. The Jinx opened it, stole it. Um, this is a very important thing. It's, that you should not forget to use your uh, your first ability when you're fighting because your first ability is going to provide a lot of healing to your team. You know, maybe you're going to be too busy with your with your shield and your knockups, but don't forget to use your first ability too because the heal is so good. Okay, How do you like don't it forget today? it. More than yesterday, less than Here, I just wanted to do like cool flash knockup combo, but it seems like I uh, the I think the Darius hooked him out of my out of my knockup, which was pretty sad. Not gonna lie. He's not even gonna die. Here, I'm gonna hit him with the um, with the first ability, but it was still not enough. I just use my th I just use my third ability to casually escape under a turret. That's another use of your third ability, by the way. If you're in a really bad spot, just look for a teammate that's really close by and dash to your teammate and easy escape. And here I ah oh, beautiful play. I just I knew the Jinx was gonna rocket me, so I jumped over the wall to dodge the rocket. That was beautiful, just beautiful. You can do so much with Rakan. The outplay potential is just insane. Here I used my ultimate, and yeah, I I jumped him with my jumped on him with my ultimate, just securing the free kill. <coughs> so let's see what I'm doing here. Again, escape over the wall. Easy escape with my third ability. 
you know, you, you can use your third ability in so many ways. You can escape with it. You can engage with it. You can help your teammates with it. It's, it's such a valuable ability. You can do so much with it. And if you have an ardent sensor, you can even buff the attack speed. So here I'm getting ardent sensor. And um, as I mentioned it during the build part of this video, you really have to look at the game. So I was looking at this game and I was tanky enough because I'm not dying. The only reason that I'm dying is Z ultimate, but I can't really avoid Z ultimate. So um, I decided I need to get an Ardent Sensor because when I use my shield on, my, on, my uh, uh, on the champions of my team, they'll get bonus damage and they will get bonus attack speed, which is going to be especially good on the Zaya. So that is how I decided that I needed to build an Ardent Sensor, okay? Because I really want you to understand how to build Rakan. It's definitely not easy to build Rakan, but it's like you always have to go for situational items. He's getting ulted. I'm giving him a shield here. Like, I'm doing my very best to keep him alive. And this is another beautiful engage under the turret, but I'm just dead. It's five of them, and... This was a pretty bad fight for us. Like, the evidence is also at the back. It was just it was just a really, really bad fight for us. And they actually pick up Alistar, which is very nice. But this was just a horrible fight. We, we, sh we lose Infernal Dragon here. I'm pretty sure we should lose Infernal Dragon here. They can get it for free. Yeah, okay. So, another thing that you should note, just in general, this is not about Rakan. When Dragon or Baron is spawning, don't do these stupid fights. Like, it was not even a normal 5v5. They were turret diving us, and they have Alistar. And this was just stupid. We lose Infernal Dragon here for free. And it just doesn't make sense to take a fight like that. It, it's, yeah, it's, it's really bad. Don't take these useless fights. We should have just backed off, relaxed, got some items, and then, and then fight 5v5. Oh, this is a beautiful ping. I, I call Baron here. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, this is it. Okay. Why do I call Baron? You might you might be thinking, what? There are four enemies alive. Why are you calling Baron? Let me explain to you why I'm calling Baron. First of all, we killed enemy Z. So that's 4v5. Second of all, the enemies are still on the dragon side. As you can see on the map. Map control is super important. Um, so the enemies are on the other side. And they are not ready to fight. Okay. And this means that we can get a free Baron. Third of all, my first ability can just heal my entire team anyway, so we can stay healthy while doing the Baron. As you can see, we're super healthy. This was a beautiful call. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful call. And here I tried to do some crazy ass engage, but unfortunately it didn't work out. <coughs> so here my team doesn't really do too well. Um, what we should have done here is we should spread out. One guy goes to bot lane, one guy goes to top lane, and three guys in mid lane. Yeah, that's what I'm telling my team to, Darius bot, but he doesn't listen, he doesn't care. And the reason that I'm actually telling them to do this is because if we do that, we can put so much pressure on them with the Baron minions. Like, um, if Darius goes to bot lane, and if, another, and if Akali goes to top lane, Akali can easily 1v1 any champion. We will be fine with three people in the mid lane, because we have Rakan, I can just save my team. But instead, we just go to mid lane for some random reason. At the end of the day, I think we should do pretty well in this fight. Like, I'm, I'm playing pretty well here. Um, easy knock-up. I'm just wasting their time. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use my ultimate on them too here. Yeah, we just win this fight. That was just a beautiful fight. And we won regardless. But that was kind of because the enemy threw the fight. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The enemies played that fight pretty badly. It would have definitely been better to split push. That would have been better. So, the game ends here. And, oh, guys, this video took me so long to make. It's actually insane. But I'm super happy that I actually made a good video about it. Because I don't want to make stupid videos that are really bad, you know. Uh, I just want to make top quality videos for you guys to enjoy. So, um, I'm pretty sure I get MVP here. Like, everything I did in this game must have given me MVP, right? And, yes, MVP rock on. Here it is. So, thank you very much for watching. And I will see... One second. Oh, my camera's not working. I will see you all in the next Wild Rift video. Bye-bye.